Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the future of Elex Moriba. And then later in the video, we are also going to be talking about Barcelona possibly signing a brand new striker in this transfer window. There is about four to five days left. Ronald Koeman is pushing for Barcelona to sign another striker. So we are going to be discussing just what are the possibilities of this club under Joan Laporta actually signing a striker reinforcement. But before we go into those topics, I do want to talk about the One Football app. The One Football app is considered as the best football app you could find in the app store when it comes to the latest player news the latest team stats if you want to follow a specific team or player and overall follow the transfer news of any club you do desire the one football app is going to be there to inform you immediately and live the only thing that you do have to do is go into my link it'll take you straight to the app store you would be able to download the one football app and then from there you could turn on the push notifications on any club you do want to follow and then you'll be all set and done from there but first let's talk about Elex Moriba. And let me tell you guys, when it comes to Elex Moriba, it has taken a huge U-turn because everything did indicate that RB Leipzig was going to be signing Elex Moriba. They were keen on bringing this player in. But we have talked about before how Bayern Munich and Leipzig do have to have an agreement over Sabister. Sabister was going to be leaving Leipzig in order to go to Bayern Munich for a total of 20 million euros. But as of now, nothing has evolved. Like Bayern Munich have not made a decision to sign Sabister from Leipzig. And the whole plan coming from Leipzig was that they wanted to use those funds of selling Sabister in order to fund the transfer of Elex Moriba. And so everyone did know that it was going to be very difficult for Leipzig to afford a player like Elex Moriba. As a matter of fact, it does say here, according to Moises Llorens, Elex Moriba wanted to join RB Leipzig on a free transfer, but Barcelona does not contemplate this option. Barcelona had also met with Moriba and his agents earlier today in a meeting to talk about what should be done after the transfer window does close. So the fact that Moriba had to ask Barcelona that he wanted to go to RB Leipzig for free, it basically means that Moriba does not want to be at Barcelona. He wants to go there at whatever cost. And just a side note, Joan Laporta and Mateo Leman would never let Elex Moriba leave Barcelona on a free transfer. That will not happen. But Moriba's intentions were very clear. He wanted to go to RB Leipzig at whatever cost. And so for those of you guys who are questioning, what does it mean by what should be done after the transfer window does close? It basically means that Barcelona were telling Elex Moriba, look, if we cannot find a buyer for you, if you do intend to stay at Barcelona, but do not renew your contract, then you will be going to the stands and you will not be playing any minute within this season moving forward. So Moriba would not be involved at all. And so you better bet that in these dying days of the transfer window, Moriba and the agents and the father are going to have to move very quickly because their decision is so set on not renewing with FC Barcelona. But this is also the reason why we have just heard this report coming from Ferran Martinez. And it says here, Tottenham have entered the race for Elex Moriba. The player is convinced over a move to Tottenham. So it is the clubs who have to reach an agreement now. So there is an agreement between Elex Moriba and Tottenham. The only thing that is missing, it is going to be the two clubs, Barcelona and Tottenham. They're going to have to find an agreement and to see whether Tottenham would be able to pay the 20 million euros, yes or no. Ferran Martinez has also stated that Barcelona still remains very firm on their price for Elex Moriba, which is 20 million euros and no less. Now, can Tottenham Hotspur actually reach that price? Could they actually meet those demands? Now, I have no idea on what's currently going on with Tottenham as of now, but I would not be surprised that within these next one to three days, we start to hear that Tottenham are going to have to sell in order to buy. And that sell that Tottenham is going to have to make is the sell of Kane going to Manchester City. Could that also be involved in the operation of Elix Moriba? So there's all of these questions, right, about clubs having to make a move in order to make another move happen on the other side. But we should expect to see brand new details regarding this move of Elex Moriba going to Tottenham within these next one to three days, maybe within 24 hours or 12 hours. We never know, but things are moving quickly and the transfer window will be closing in about four days. Now I do want to move on towards the next topic of today and we are going to be talking about some surprising news, right? Some news that we did not expect to hear coming from this Barcelona club and especially with a Barcelona that's in this financial state. But it says here, according to Moises Llorens, Barcelona has not ruled out on signing a striker. They know how complicated a transfer like this could be, but they want to make it happen before deadline day. They do want to sign one or loan one or maybe even a cheap striker. Kuman does want to have one. Barcelona is evaluating all options and aren't ruling out any surprises. Now, to be very honest, I just do not see how this could be possible for Barcelona to actually bring in a brand new striker in this transfer window and especially within these next three to four days. But look, I am not a person that is involved in Barcelona. I do not know the contracts. I do not know the financial state of this club in its final details 
Marcos. We are just going based off what we have been hearing in the past two months. Barcelona right now are not in their best financial state. And I just do not see how Barcelona could buy a brand new striker when they are having so much trouble offloading the players that they do want to offload. And so even if Barcelona created this margin in the past five to six weeks, just how big is that margin? Because let me tell you, if Barcelona had about, let's just say 20 to 30 million euros to spend on a striker, I just do not see any real player actually making an impact that would cost Barcelona 20 to 30 million euros. And so if Barcelona were to actually spend 20 to 30 million euros on a striker, that is just going to make us believe that Koeman and the sporting directors are going to want to bring in a striker that's considered a short-term replacement. And many of us do not want to see that. But Koeman has already even asked in public towards the club that he wants this club, Barcelona, to make a push to bring in a brand new striker because he believes that many players are getting injured within this club. So that idea of this club actually wanting to bring in a brand new striker, it is very much real. But I just do have so much trouble believing that Barcelona can actually bring in a striker that can make a real impact in this club. We, If you want to talk about strikers, we have Sergio Aguero, who is a number nine. We have Martin Brethwaite, who has been performing very well and has exceeded expectations. And we can even talk about Memphis Depay, who can also play as a number nine. There's just no need of Barcelona bringing in a brand new striker. And especially when you know that that striker is not going to be here for the long term. And I have always said, right, I have said this for the past year and a half, that if Barcelona actually want to sign another striker, I have talked about this since the day we have heard that Luis Suarez might potentially be leaving Barcelona under Bartomeu. And I have said this, if Barcelona want to sign a striker, that striker would have to be the big bang, right? It would have to be that first big signing under Joan Laporta. And so whoever that striker may be, it's going to have to really hit the nail. And I have always talked about Barcelona going all in for Erling Haaland. That has to be your player. That is going to be a guy that will give you a decade. That is going to be a player that will give you an era in Barcelona. And he would also lead by example. But as of now, bringing in a striker just for this season specifically and spending 15 to 20 to 30 million euros on that striker, it just makes no sense. I just do not see that happening. And I hope that in the end, it does not end up happening. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.